Annyeong Hasu, and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald, and happy May Day! Since it's International Labor Day, tonight's film is The Fat Spy, a film where no one is trying very hard. But first, it's the next episode of Zorro's Black Whip. Last time, the whip fell off a cliff into a passing wagon, and Vic got tied up the way he liked. Then the writers went on holiday, and we got a clip show of Vic being useless. Hammond has Vic taken prisoner to force Barbara to reveal the identity of the whip. When she sneaks back to untie him, the bandits spot her and open fire on what's obviously just her boots at the bottom of some curtains. Let's see if Zoro is still on vacation in episode 9 of Zoro's Black Whip, Avalanche. Gordon's horse is right outside. I don't know how long it will take me. Oh, yes, you do. I'll give you just one hour. If you're not back then... Clips inside the house. Discovered this much, Barbara Meredith does know who the Black Whip is, or at least she knows where to find him. Then we better follow her next time. After last night, the Black Whip is sure to be smart enough to figure out some way to keep in touch with her. He's a slick one, all right. There must be some clue. You were in the room with him. Didn't you see anything that might identify him? All I could see was that gun he was holding. Looked as big as a cannon. If I hadn't have thrown the boot at that lamp, we'd have been goners. Black Whip's boot. That might be a clue. Did you get the maker's name? We can trace it if you did. I only had it in my hand a minute. I did notice, though. It seemed awfully small. No bigger than a woman's. A woman's? Of course, it must be. How dumb I've been. About what? Barbara Meredith. She's the Black Whip. She couldn't be. The Black Whip's got to be a man. He's outshot us, outrode us, and outfought us. Stopped us at every turn. She has because she's smart. I happen to know she's a good horsewoman and a fine shot. Now, I'm convinced she's the Black Whip. Ah, uh, we've got to get rid of her. Then you can dress one of your men up as the Black Whip and help us fight against statehood. Why, everybody in the territory knows that horse and outfit. That's right, so we can kill her until we find out where she hides the horse and outfit. Now, here's what you do. You go to the Meredith Ranch. When you get her, you let me know. Yes? This is Ten Point. Vic just left for the ranch. 
You'd better have a good story ready. The way he talks, maybe he's beginning to think you're the Black Whip. Thinks I'm the Black Whip? We think so, too. Fire up. You better clear out of here. Take her to the hideout below Mesa Peak. I'll meet you there after I see the boss. He may want to question her himself. You stay here. Someone may come out to see why she doesn't answer the telephone. Whoever it is, finish him off. We don't want our trail picked up. be dead center. when Baxter gets here. If I knew who the Black Whip was, I wouldn't tell you. Quit stalling. We know you're the whip. You're mistaken, gentlemen. The Black Whip.
going on in there? The Black Whip got here. He's inside fighting with Mac. You mean to say the Meredith girl isn't the Black Whip? No. What are you figuring to do with that explosive? I'm going to blow up that shack. You'd have to get too close. They're have to drill you. Give me that stuff. You stay here and keep him pinned in the shack. I'll go up on top of that cliff and blast it down on him. Right. I was battling the man they left at your place. He fell through the panel, down the steps, and into the cave. Before he died, he told me where you were and that they believed you were the Black Whip. I thought I'd change their mind. Lucky for me, you did. movie is 1966's The Fat Spy. A band of teenagers go treasure hunting on a deserted island ignorant of the fact that an agent from a cosmetics company is there searching for the fountain of youth. I got into an argument with my bosses about working on Labor Day. They said they could replace me. I said they could watch this movie. They relented. So I'm having myself a nice beach holiday. As for this flick, it has Phyllis Diller, it has Jane Mansfield, and it's featured in the documentary The 50 Worst Movies Ever Made. All of which suggest you're in for a much better time than you actually are. How bad is it? It has brown face early on and the inexplicable racism of it doesn't even crack the top 10 list of things wrong with this film. So I'm going to enjoy my mimosas while you endure tonight's feature, The Fat Spy.
listen to. Come on now. And you can stay out late without your daddy always bugging you. Come on now. It's cool there. No school there. We are in the sun. Having lots of fun. Having lots of fun. Thursday, the 26th of July, a day like all other days. Station Y reporting, these are the facts. Greenwich Mean Time precisely, approximate, appro oh, early this afternoon, a group of unidentified adolescents emerged from the sea. Now, after careful investigation, I was able to determine that they were teenagers? On a treasure hunt? Mm-hmm. Just some high school kids out there for the weekend, I suppose. <laughs> treasure hunt? On my island? Well, Daddy, not legally, so... Jurisdiction, Junior. What is this? A technicality. No. At issue here is the fundamental dignity of an individual in our society. It's a matter of moral justice. Whoever those teenagers are, I want them driven back into the sea. But, Daddy, I don't think... I'm your father, Junior. I know best. Now, alert station Y. Procedure emergency. Use force if necessary. How are we fixed for reinforcements? And can we trust our field agent to follow through on this? Oh, yes. Don't worry, Daddy. He's one of your best men. Completely reliable. Who? Irving. Irving? Irving. Irving, not that idiot. Daddy, how can you say that Irving's been loyal to you since the very beginning? Yeah, I know. If only he was a traitor. Please, Daddy, let me. I'll fly out to the island. I'm sure it's just what he says it is. Innocent children, they do it all the time. Please give me this chance to prove my faith in Irving. All right. I'll have a plane waiting for you at Cape Coral. Remember, Irving has been alone on a deserted island for six months. <laughs> oh, Daddy. <gasps> if only she wouldn't giggle. Hey, Junior, what's the rush? Not now, Herman. I've got to get to the island and see Irving. Irving, that idiot. You're only twin brother in the whole world, Herman. How can you say such a thing about him? We sent him to Paris to steal the RP's formula. What do you think happened? He came back with onion soup. Without me and my methods, Junior, your old man will still be selling foot powder to slippery Indians. Herman, it's an emergency. I've got to leave. Emergency? What happened? What is it? Project X. 
a raison d'être. Raisins? Don't tell me that Irving found raisins on the island. No, that's French, Herman. But it's urgent. Well, I'm off now. Goodbye. Right. Hmm, the island. What's going on out there? the phone or I'll cut your nose off. Herman? My brother Herman? That's right, kid. Herman. It's important. Otherwise, I wouldn't call you. Herman, gosh, it's good to hear your voice. Say, bring me up to date. Did Magnolia marry Cousin Fenster after all? Fenster? The Siamese twin? Yeah, he, he's the one on the left. No, he's still a bachelor. But Seymour on the right, he's married again. Poor Fenster. Save your sympathy, kid. You need it. Me? No. Junior's on our way to the island. Official business. What happened out there? Did you find it? What's going on? Nothing, except for the teenagers who showed up this morning. Teenagers? Irving, now listen carefully. I want you to do exactly what I tell you. First, hold on. Advertising, sales promotion, and research. This is Gondola. In here, Herman. On the double. Me, yes, sir. Immediately, sir. Stand by, Irving. Don't make a move till you hear from me. Hmm. Junior is coming. You sent for me, sir? Come here, Herman. I want you to try the new line. Yes, sir. Nothing. Nothing at all, sir. Try the blonde. They use the Vaseline base. Yes, sir. <coughs> Sorry. A little too much Vaseline, Mr. Wellington. It has a tendency to skit. I suggest a little gravel for traction. All right, girls, take your lips back to research. Say, uh, I've just been informed by Junior that uh, that some use have landed on the... Herman! Who do you think you are, Irving? Just a slip, Mr. Wellington. After all, I am not too concerned about the security of Project X. Shh. Don't even say that. We can't trust anybody, Herman, not even right here in our own headquarters. If the information that we know the island should have reached Camille Salamander... That evil woman. Beyond evil, Herman. 
That woman is un-American. Somewhere on that island, beyond the fringes of time, lost for centuries, there, bubbling in bliss, the secret of the ages, waiting to be bottled, an exclusive product brought to you by, ta-da, Camille Salamander, the fountain of youth, eternal youth. Each dewdrop of liquid essence will be bottled in an original salamander flask and guzzled by a waiting world eager for the joys of puberty. Sahib? Swine, how dare you interrupt my meditation hour? A thousand pardons, Sahib, but this message. Teenagers? Yuck. Fishing's great. Want to go? Oh, we got all day and tomorrow to search. Come on, let's get some fish. Hey, Dodo, like why? I dig this barren waste and blazing sun. The wind from the sea and the thunder of waves as they crash ashore. We'll stay, baby. Just don't fall overboard, Dodo. Me? Twinkle toes? 
See you later. changed. <laughs> Hello. Okay, just a minute, please. Telephone for Dodo. Well, who could want him at this hour? Who's calling, please? His mother. His mother? Just one moment, please. What does she want? I don't know. No, Mrs. Blunt. Scuba. Dodo came out here to scuba with us. Every year we've had an annual weekend treasure hunt. We're just normal, decent, healthy, clean-cut American kids. It seems as though a lonely night is all I've ever known. I've tried so hard to find a girl. That I can call my own I feel just like a sailor Whose ship is lost at sea Oh, I wonder, wonder. Where is the girl for me? In all my dreams
Where did you come from? Me? Oh, I was just passing by. Say, you wouldn't have any of those fresh worms aboard, would you? Well, I don't know how fresh they are, but I sure got plenty of them. Here, come aboard my yacht and help yourself. Really? Sure. You're very sweet. Here, let me give you a hand. Thank you. That's it. Come on. Lift up. Lift up your tail. Your tail? Oh, everything is so beautiful. At night, in the garden, alone. While I was breeding, I used to think of you. And it's orange. And it's registered with the United States Rose Department. Oh, Eddie, the government. Oh. And his official name is Rosaceous Orange Junior. Oh, Eddie. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm hurt. What happened? Did I splash it's bleeding. It's bleeding. Now, don't you be brave. You oh. just come with me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You need me, Irving, if you could only realize how much. Oh, I know Daddy hates you, but it's our life, and I know we could find happiness together. Ma, wow, wow. Irving! Mm, it throbs. Like the beating of my heart. Irving, I love you. George Wellington, Jr., I wish you were like any ordinary girl. I'm normal, Irving, and I'm in love. <gasps> I wish you stopped that giggle. <gasps> Sometimes, Irving, I wish you were a little bit like Herman. He'd never let an opportunity like this get away. In business, perhaps, but not in love. For over 20 years, Herman has been faithful to one woman. Herman? They were childhood sweethearts in high school, when Herman was a cheerleader and she was captain of the ping-pong team. But the strangest part of the story is that, since then, they've never seen each other. Twenty-four weeks. Three hundred and twelve partners. Seven thousand six hundred and sixty-five days. Seven thousand six hundred and seventy days. Leap year. Oh, darling. Oh. <laughs> Would you like some alcohol? Your tail. Oh, those lips. I just couldn't break away. Our new lipstick, Fire and Glue. Fire and Glue? Now you look great. First time I've ever seen a whole basketball team in one suit. Ah, uh, darling, tell me something. Was the ground cold when you came up this morning? How about your eyes? They're so beautiful. Where did you get those eyes? They came with a head. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> Do you really remember? You don't remember at all. I don't remember. I remember everything! When you were three, you smiled, and you frightened Dr. Spock. 
At six you are a mask, cause your face could stop a clock. And all the neighbors made a scene to have you put in quarantine. And you haven't changed a bit. Your nose kept growing till the day it grew beyond repair. At ten, somebody picked you as the poster girl for care. And even though you were so thin, you never lost your double chin. You haven't changed a bit. I kissed you and in my heart was panic. Kissing you was just like kissing Dell Evzan. At 17, I knew at last that you had made the grave. The paper said a peeping Tom was pulling down your shade. And as I look at you today, here the picture of James Cagney. You haven't changed a bit. the bow they made on graduation day and swore their love to secrecy. But why, Irving, why? Well, Rapunzel was different from most girls. She was tough inside, like your father. In a way, she, she wanted the ultimate. You mean like Daddy in the Fountain of Youth? Just about. Well, so what happened? She and Herman swore never to meet again until they conquered the world. The teenagers, what about them? That's probably a false alarm. I'll, I'll check it out in the morning. See, Herm, you see what I mean. We're not ready, Herm. A girl needs security, Herman. And if you can't provide your own true love, accurate, detailed data. Are you kidding? I've been waiting 20 years, Rapunzel, and I'm ready to betray Wellington. Herman, I don't want to hurt you, but Rapunzel, the little lass you loved, the merry child, no more. What I am, Camille Salamander, and what I want, that fountain of eternal youth. But physically, it may not be water. Irving, experiment with every source of liquid on the island. Not water? Not necessarily. But it's new top secret. And baby, I've got it all on microfilm. Good boy, Herm. Get me that fountain. And then? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, Rapunzel. Oh. Please, please, no, I beg no, of you. No, no. And now, Rapunzel, and now. But, Herm, lest we forget our vow, we swore an oath. But today, darling, the world is ours. Now, now. Is it, Herm? Is it real? Oh, Rapunzel, please. Not this way, not yet, not now, not here, no. When? Where? In the crystal shimmer of beaded dew, our blood dancing to a pagan beat, surging wild with the rhythm of love, in the fountain of youth, wading in the waters of time. Actually, in the water? Herman, if it's good enough to drink, Love, Irving, love makes the world go round. This orange rose, a crossbreed. Hmm, what a species. Irving? Hmm. Irving, what's wrong with me? Uh, this red rose, right Irving. there. Irving! Yes, Junior? I know you're a scientist, Irving, but I love you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to be a rose in your garden.
but I'm just a thorn in your side. I'm not poison ivy, so baby, won't you try me? And I'll keep you satisfied. I could be as shy as a violet, or fresh as a daisy in May. My friends call me Junior, but I'll be your sweet petunia, and I'll bloom for you every day. Take me to your greenhouse, baby. I'd like to see your gladiolus grow. I'd like to tiptoe through your tulips. So pucker up and let me know that I can be a rose. like a subconscious impulse. I can see it right in front of me. Flesh bath. Take a memo to the art department. I want a full media campaign layout. Flesh bath by Wellington with new added formula LSD 26. But Mr. Wellington, there's no such product in our fall line. I'll make one. Duplicate memo to research. I want a flesh bath by Monday and by this afternoon. I want the name of every man responsible for that TV special we sponsored last night. I saw it. Fiesta on Fire Island. They're all fired. For lunch, I'll have a poached egg and strawberry yogurt. And tell Herman I want to see him immediately. Ah, what's this? Retail department is short on heavenly skin cream. We're undersupplied, sir. We can't produce enough heavenly skin cream. There's just not enough pork fat. Contact our Iowa division. I want those pig farms to go on a 24-hour schedule. Now get me Herman. Irving? Irving, Irving, wake up, it's Daddy. It's important, Daddy. Says, please, Irving, wake up. Hurry, it's Daddy. He's simply furious. Daddy, sir? Good morning, Irving. Good morning, sir. To background you on my attitude this morning, Irving, despite serious reservations I have regarding your virtue, I know my daughter, and her inherent values spring from a decent home. Therefore, Irving, I want you to know that her unchaperoned overnight visit with you has absolutely nothing to do with what I am about to say to you. Most of it, Irving, Dirty names I will call you will Excuse be me, crude Mr. and vulgar, but that, Irving, is how I think of you. A fat, stupid, loud mouth. I did not, but... Get the marbles out of your throat if you want to talk to me. What is it you want? What, 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 what? Nothing, thank you, but Mr. Wellington would like you in his office immediately. Hmm. I'm all thrilled about this whole thing here. <laughs> Get down to that beach right now, now. Tell them anything, but find out exactly what they're really up to, now. Hey, hey, look. Hi, gang. What you looking for? They're moving toward him now, slowly, very slowly, but calm. I don't think he's frightened.
Your brother. Hit the beach. No, it's happening. They're all around it now, closing in. This could be it. He's cute. My name is Irving. I'm from the Bronx High School of Science. Whatever he said, I think it worked. They're all laughing now. Gosh, they're hysterical. Uh-oh. They're moving, shifting positions. Very deliberate. They're up to something. Tonight's film is The Fat Spy, and what a confusing, confounding disappointment. The flick's supposed to be a parody of beach films, which may be the root of the trouble. Beach movies were always kind of a riff on themselves. So how do you make fun of something that's already a joke? My recommendation? Not like this. Here's a fun bit of trivia, though. The band bloating this washed-up corpse of a film were The Wild Ones, a band that recorded the first version of Wild Thing. You know, that song that was done better by everyone else you've ever heard do it. Heads up, the second half of the movie features someone walking into the ocean and never being seen again. That's right, the goofy comedy pairing a genre of light comedies includes a suicide. What a winner! And now back to what even Phyllis Diller can't save, The Fat Spy. Armin, sit down. Yes, sir. Herman, this is off the record. You can call me George. Okay, George, shoot. Herman, I need an opinion. Well, let's put it this way, George. Your lovely daughter, Junior, has class, looks, brains. She's a winner. Except she has one hang-up. Oivy? Oivy. With the fountain of view someplace on that island, stakes are too high to gamble on either one of them. That's also my opinion, sir. Thanks, Herman. I needed that. 
And now, George, it's time for the pros to take over. It's a real big one. This operation needs everything we've got. So I'll go. Thanks, Herman. That means a lot to me, but I can't let you do it. I've been out of action a long time, Herman, probably too long. But this is my show. I'll take over. But Irving, who's he? Where did he come from? He said he's from the Bronx High School of Science. And he wanted to know what kind of treasure we're hunting for. So we told him. Not the truth. Sure. But that's okay. He said we could take anything we want if we find it. I want the gangplank. <laughs> <laughs> if we could take the whole ship. Imagine sailing home in an old Spanish galleon. That'd be oh, great. Imagine yeah. the whole ship with yeah. clubhouse. Oh. This Irving, though, did he say why he was on the island? What's he looking for? Roses. He's a horticulturist. <laughs> Come on, let's get organized. Let's take Frankie's map, divide it, set up teams, and start digging. Spanish guy, you ready or not, here we come. Yeah! <laughs> it's spooky. Maybe he's a spy. If he is, then we've got to get there first. Then, goodbye, fat spy. Irving, my beautiful hero. At last, after six months, I have got information. Somewhere on this island is an old Spanish cannon. You know what this means, Junior? After six months of relentless search, I, Irving Gondoler, discovered a clue. Oh, gosh, Eddie, when Daddy learns about this. It was simple, really. All I had to do was wiggle my hips, and they told me everything. And as soon as I give the information to Daddy, oh, Irving, I know he'll give you a raise. You'll be independent. We can get married. Ah, what about the pension plan? You think he'll let me join? I know he will. Security. In five years, I can retire and breed. Roses? I'll get my bike. Your bike? So I can ride you over to the airstrip. You'll fly back to your father with the information, and I'll return to my roses. Six months hard labor. After all, a man needs a hobby. Rapunzel! Yes, my child? Rapunzel! Tell me, mirror, mirror, what is this strange flutter throbbing in my chest? My child, the heart of a flower beats within the hide of a rhinoceros. Sahib! Punjab, my faithful thug. Sahib, I spoke. I broke your meditation hour. Beat me. Beat me. Never! The heart of a flower beats within the height of this rhinoceros. For the love of Kali, Sahib, whip me, whip yeah. me, whip me, whip me, whip me, whip hey, me. Camille. Okay. Herman, darling! Ah, oh, sweetheart, that's so good. Let's make this our fountain of youth. Please, you're tearing my pants. Come, Herman, let's frolic together. Frolic yourself, baby. I'm here on business. The earth trembled. The stars stood still. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, ecstasy of love. What do you mean, business? Well, well, it didn't left for the island. When? About an hour ago, but it doesn't make any difference anymore. Why not? Because I, and I alone, know exactly how to find the real fountain of youth. Herman, I have a big reward for you. It is big. It's yours. Revenge. I swear by the goddess Kali. Revenge. Would it be all right if I do my song now? Sure, baby. Why not? You didn't really want to go fishing again today, did you, Dodo? Uh-huh. I, I promised Naomi I would. Naomi? Who's Naomi? You're my best friend, Frank. But there's some things that, that even best friends shouldn't know about each other. Dig?
the fair. Did you find it? Uh -uh, I gotta go down a couple more feet, I think. Anyway, it's your turn. Let's get in the shade before I fry, huh? Okay, sure. Why not? Sometimes, Dodo, if you want to talk about it, friends can help each other. How? Like you're helping me dig for the treasure, aren't you? I fell in love with a mermaid. Sure you did, baby. Irving, this is a real shotgun. And I intend to use it. All right, I promise. I promise. Don't shoot. I'll do it. You can marry me. Okay, get in the plane. For Project X, the island. I just can't leave. Your father may get angry. I'll worry about Daddy. My bike. I just cannot leave without my B-I-K-E. It would be so sad, Irving, if those were your last words. <laughs> now, get in the plane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, you are my hero, but let's go over it again. Well, let's see. Hey, it is rather complicated. I can't seem to remember anything. Maybe I can help. <laughs> oh! Wow! 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 <laughs> now I remember. I have to meet you in Cape Coral while you ask your father for my hand. So far, so good. What's next? If he says yes, we'll get married right away. And after that... I'll call my mother. That's what I'm going to do. Cape and starboard, Mr. Wellington, for ready to sail. And this, sir, exactly as you specified. Okay, let's go. It's gotta be around here. Hey, who's Dodo? I don't know. I thought he was here with you. That's funny. Where'd he go?
Well, we'll find it. The Founder Youth. Herman, that building is Wellington House. That happens to be your own office. Mm, uh, the secret of the Founder Youth has been there all the time. If you lied to me, Herman, just to get a quick frolic. No, baby, I wouldn't lie to you, but I'll show it to you. I can't go in there. I'd be recognized. Don't worry about a thing. Just get in the car and take your clothes off. What? Boom. Easy. Yes, dear. We're at it again. Very nice to hear, dear. Who knows? This might not be as bad as it looks. If you have a factual opinion, my dear, please send me a special delivery letter. Certainly. Below us is the airport. Now, if I can just execute a von Richter and late, we'd be able to glide in. And if not? If not, we'll end up in a disgusting crash. Poor Dodo. Poor me. What am I going to tell his mother when she calls? Hey, Frankie! There, see? See what I mean? Hey, Frankie, look at this. The direction's wrong. You were digging in the wrong place. We should have been 100 yards south. That's where it is, 100 yards south. We made it to Von Richter and Triple H. It worked. We saved. <gasps> Kiss me. Certainly, Junior. But if you don't mind, I'd prefer to kiss after we actually landed. But that's when the real rush starts. I've got to get right to Daddy. Now, you wait for me in the gardens. I'll meet you by the dolphin pool at exactly 4 o'clock. Then we'll arrange for the marriage license. And after that... Junior, right now I have a very uneasy feeling. <laughs> it's gone. The whole ship is gone. That's impossible. It's got to be here. Hey, look, there's a sign. On this site, the Ponce de Leon, a Spanish galleon, was washed ashore in 1501. Courtesy of the Chamber of Commerce, this galleon may now be seen as a part of a permanent exhibit at the Cape Coral Gardens, open daily from 10 to 10, admission free. Okay, Cape Coral, let's go. to start that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Some people ask where we're 
sweetheart you're all alone now and this is your play this is your move everything rides on this one sure sure you've been out of action a long time maybe too long but it's too late to think about that now All right, Jocko, don't let those teenagers stop you. Your objective, take that island. You've got to get in there fast, you've got to get in there hard. You've got to get in there fast and hard. All right, remember now, sweetheart, no nerves, like a slab of ice. Remember Bo Jess, just like Markov. You've got to be cold and you've got to be a killer. You've got no time to count your strawberries. You've got to be ready for anything, Jocko. Those dirty little rats will spot the boat and trap you going ashore. 
Don't let Dad stop you. Remember the old days, when a kiss was just a kiss, and a sigh was just a sigh. Now those were the good old days. Why, nothing could stop us then, nothing. Now listen here, you guys. Nobody's come along to take our place. Nobody. Yeah. We're still the kings of the late show. All right, all right, all right. Never mind, Dad. You hit the beach, hit it fast, and hit it hard, and take that island. Oh, don't worry about that, baby. Just get the car and take your clothes off. What? Boom. Oh. It would have been much neater if you kept your clothes off, baby. Just button the jacket, baby, and I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be okay. Herman, I want to tell you one thing before we go in there. If you're wrong, you're gonna wish you were Irving. Don't move. I'll be back here at 4 o'clock with Daddy's permission. Uh. Whoop. Oh, no, Frankie. Look. Yeah, I guess it's over. Wow, it would have been so great if we'd have got it first. Imagine going home with a real gangplank of a Spanish galleon. Maybe we could come back later and steal it. <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's go. Well, we might as well stay here in the gardens, then. It's as good a place as any. All these years, it was right here. And I never realized it until this morning. Watch. Now press the button. Press the switch over here. Now press the bottom button three times. I have programmed the computer and it's that simple. Right now, his big brain is sifting through all the information we've got on the Fountain of Youth. Doing the calculations that would take us years. discovered by Ponte de Leon and his wife. Contrary to legend, it is not a liquid, but rather a twin black rose growing from a single stem. This twin black rose was aboard the Ponte de Leon when it was shipwrecked in 1501. It is currently on display at the Cape Coral Gardens. Triumph, Rapunzel. The world is ours. Not yet, you traitors. As long as I'm here, neither one of you will leave this room. She knows too much, Herman. She must be destroyed. We'll annihilate the entire building. Get a bomb, a big bomb. When I turn this knob, her fate will be sealed, and our secret will be safe forever. That knob, that's the air conditioning. Setting this at maximum power will create ice cubes. Then as the ice cubes circulate through the pipes, crashing into each other, the frozen pressure will grow to unbearable intensity, splintering the walls until the entire place shatters in one final convulsive gasp. Ready? 
As ready as I'll ever be. Frankie? What? Just Frankie, that's all. an orchid. It's a rose. And look, the stem's broken. It was twins. But there's only one left. And there are two of us.
What's the matter, darling? Did your father say no? That's the black rose. That's the fountain of youth. Quick, Erdin, where did you find it? Camille and Herman know what it is. I found it right over there. You see where those two little kids are? That's funny. I know there was another one. You're too late, Irving. We ate it. That's Herman. Camille Salamander? No, sweetheart, Rapunzel Fingernail, in case you're interested. You mean that this did it? You mean if we take this? Oh, no, Irving. We have our use. This must be used for the benefit of people who really need it. Excuse me. Take my word for it that if you eat this, you'll grow young again. introduce myself. I am Don Francisco Miguel Ponce de Leon. And I am Donna Maria Antoinette Carmen de Mescaline. Boy, this is some picture. Wait a minute. Where's Daddy? <laughs> There it is, sir, the island. Head ahead.
That was tonight's feature, The Fat Spy. And when white nationalists talk about preserving traditional culture, they mean this. One great replacement, please. As a palate cleanser, here's a look at our next film. A film that has it all. Soldiers trapped behind enemy lines. Illicit romance. You have a room someplace where we may converse? Oh yeah, I've got a cottage. Moors haunted by ancient spirits. And sequences of kinetic action with dramatic consequences. They were near best of us, didn't they? All this, plus Bela Lugosi as he tries to survive the unrelenting horror of the East Side Kids in Spooks Run Wild. Next time on the Busan Midnight Movie. Happy dreams, Slappy. Well, that looks much better, but it would almost have to... Whose shirt is this? Hello? Anyone? Why is there suddenly a number four? Ah, well, that's a problem for future Don. So as always, come sound done, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, standard YouTube outro. And stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.